Hey everybody, it's me Stacy here at Scrapbooking Made Simple and it's time for Saturday with Stacy YouTube class number 275. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we really are counting down to 300. We really are. We're gonna have to do something uber super special for our 300th YouTube. Wahoo kachoo. Now, we are right dab in the middle of the Spellbinders warehouse sale. And it is just that, a warehouse sale. Product at unbelievably low, low, low prices. But you all know the drill. It's a ships when it ships policy. So don't expect to see it in the next six months. No, because we've got to work on the shop that did not hop sale. And yay, the one manufacturer we were waiting on to finish sending us in product, it's here and it's being unpacked and counted and put away. And I'm thinking by next week, we are going to be pulling shop that did not hop orders. For the first 200 of you, if you were a pay later, we've already sent you your invoice and hopefully you've already taken care of it because the first 200 orders are ready to take upstairs next week and ready to process. That doesn't mean they're gonna ship next week. That just means they're going to process next week and get picked next week. So they have to be picked and and the, the, the day or those 200 orders have to be picked, then they have to be filled, then they have to be QC'd, then they have to be shipped. So it still is a process, but my goodness gracious, we're so ahead. I'm so happy. Woohoo, kachoo. <laughs> I know some of you are like, wait a minute, how can you be ahead? It happened, it ended at the end of July. You call that ahead? Trust me, with a sale this size and at prices like this, we are ahead and I am thrilled to be this far ahead. I'm just over the moon about it. So the Spellbinder warehouse sale is very much the same thing. Amazing deals on Spellbinder products. In fact, one of the products I'm gonna be using today from Spellbinders, they're 25 cents. Now they retail for $9.99, but we're selling them during the warehouse sale for 25 cents. I mean it, there's no jokes, there's no gimmicks, there's no, it's just what it is, the product, it needs to go, so let's make it go. And in this YouTube, we're going to reimagine this product. We're gonna take it and transform it in a way that I don't even think Spellbinders thought about. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you, the girls were downstairs making samples in the over the last two days, and this product is online right now. I mean, it's been part of the Spellbinders warehouse sale and it's been in our store as part of the Spellbinders warehouse sale and it was doing okay. I mean, some people were picking it up, but as the girls were making the samples, oh my gosh, one lady came in and bought 86 packs of, of this product. Well, at 25 cents, that's really not spending too much, is it? Uh, for 20 bucks. So um, 86 packs of it because she saw what the girls, the SMS girls were putting together and making for the free in-store make and take. I have, okay, so Spellbinder Warehouse Sale is going on right now. It ships when it ships, no free shipping. Shop that didn't hop, I'm thinking that we're gonna be starting to pull first orders next week, wahoo kachoo. We also are starting to process Black Friday, which was a month ago, I know, right? Black Friday already. Yes, we're gonna get right through those orders as well, along with all of your current orders. So that gets you up to date there. I did get a super cute phone call. I have been busy. I was with manufacturers the last couple days because Creativation, the show in Arizona is coming up. We'll talk more about that on another YouTube. But I've been in vendor meetings like like I had Faber-Castell here and I've had Sizzix here and I had Stampendas here and I've had Hero Arts here and I've had, uh, I mean, Tonic here and tons of people have been here. So I wasn't able to take this phone call and this person's been calling every day wanting to speak to Stacy and her name was Shelby. So finally, I was downstairs today because I'm always downstairs when I'm not in a meeting upstairs. I'm in my store every single day unless I'm in a meeting of some sort. And, and then I'm just upstairs. <laughs> and and so the this person kept calling Shelby and finally I was in the store today because no meetings today. And, and Christina, SMS girl, I think Christina came up to me and she goes, there's this call for you from Shelby. And I'm like, ah. But I knew she had called yesterday and the day before. So I said, okay. So I picked up my the phone and I said, hi, this is Stacy. And she's like, hi. <laughs> and I'm like, can I help you? And she's like, well, I watch you all the time. And I said, and, and, and what's your name? And she said, Shelby. And I said, Shelby. I said, are you a crafter? And she goes, yes, I craft when I get home after school. And I said, well, what grade are you in, Shelby? And she said, I'm in the third grade. Oh, 
I melted right there. I just, oh my gosh, I, my heart just became so full. I, I mean, she, I've got this cutest little girl on the phone with me. And, so what's your favorite class? You know, what do you like to study? Are you good in school? Oh yes, I'm very good in school. Who do you craft with, Shelby? I craft with my grandma. Bless your pea picking heart, grandma. You keep Shelby crafting away because, because that is the next generation of makers. I just had the best conversation and I got her grandma on the phone and her grandma said, you know, she would really love it if you gave her a shout out. So Shelby, from me to you, wahoo kachoo. It was a wonderful day talking to you. You made my heart so very happy and you keep crafting with grandma. <laughs> I mean, does it get any better than that ever? <laughs> Okay, so I've got winter winter chicken dinner to talk about really really quick um, And then we're gonna get started and we're gonna be playing with marabou the marbling and I'm gonna take the marbling Into the next I'm gonna show you some new stuff with marbling and and we're gonna be playing with the marbling with some of the Spellbinders product which gave it whole new life. It totally reimagined this product and I'm telling you I don't know that we actually have enough in the store because we allocate certain un, uh, enough product as certain amount of product for the store and the rest of it goes online and we can't we can't mix. I can't sell out in the store and run upstairs and grab it from online to fill the store. It doesn't work that way. So I'm hoping now that <laughs> I'm hoping we have enough. I know we have plenty online. I'm hoping we have enough in the store because after people have been seeing the samples at 25 cents, they've just been just been buying it up. So okay. Okay, so our first winner, winner chicken dinner, which was from YouTube number 274, which was my product, Simply Defined. I think it was my, yeah, oh, and the, my it was my, my chocolate covered cardstock and, yeah, I think that's what we used, my chocolate covered cardstock and then the Couture Creations cut and foil dies that I didn't foil at all. I used a Versamark, I used Stampendous embossing powders, we used ink, I showed you how to do those cut and foil dies without ever having to foil. They're beautiful all on their own. Okay, so our winner winners, our first one, Fran, Fran Lemley. Fran, is that you? Hello, Fran, you're a winner, chicken dinner. You're a winner, chicken dinner. You're a winner, woo hoo 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 for you, Fran. <laughs> and our next winner winner chicken dinner, because we always pick two, is Lena, Lena Jepson. Lena, is this you? If it is, you're a winner. Chicken dinner. You're a winner. Chicken dinner. Way to go, girls. How are you going to claim your prize? It's so easy peasy. You go to scrapbookingmadesimple.com. Look for the link that says winner, winner, chicken dinner. Click it. Follow the directions and claim your prize. Do not let your prize go to the land of misfit prizes. Do not. That is how we end up with so many prizes for our anniversary sale. People just don't claim them. So you've got some smoking hot prizes here. You do. You've got some cut and foil emboss. You've got some of my paper. Um, you've got some. Ooh. You've got some Kaiser Craft inks. You've got some smoking hot prizes here. Don't lose them. Claim them. Okay, I'm gonna put those off to the side. Now, again, today I've got product from the Spellbinders Warehouse sale to show you. I've got Marabou to show you. I am gonna start off very basic, so if you've seen some of this, you may just wanna zoop ahead, or not, and you can just stay with me and we'll talk and have a conversation and craft together. Yeah, there goes the fire trucks. It wouldn't be a Stacy class, a YouTube class, if we didn't have the fire trucks. So I'm going to start off very simple for people who have not seen this before because I do have to assume that not everybody has seen every YouTube I have ever done and they may have they may be just new to crafting. So I know it might be a little repetitious for some of you, but remember at one point you were new too and everything was new to you and exciting and overwhelming and now now maybe you're a little more seasoned crafter and um and hopefully some of these newbies like Shelby who's in third grade crafting with her grandma, you know, she'll, she'll see some of this and she'll be able to do it with her grandma. So we need to reach and inspire absolutely everybody. All right, you guys, I'm going to tilt on down. I'm going to start for today. And 
And I'm going to show you what they're doing downstairs. Well, what we're, I'm downstairs right now <laughs> doing the free in-store make and take. Although actually this is going out an hour earlier so that we can live chat while the premiere of this YouTube is on. So we'll be live chatting. And if you don't like the live chat, there is a way to turn it off. You can hide the live chat. I'm not exactly sure how, but I know there is a way. So I'm sure there's a button somewhere that says hide and you can click that and that way you don't have to see all the live chat going on. Anyway, I'm gonna tilt on down for the day and we're gonna get started. Bye. I loved, Shelby was just darling. You know, what, what grade are you in? I'm in third grade. Oh, my heart just, it did, it melted. I am going to try and I don't know. Can I zoom in? Zoom, 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 zoom. Down, down, down. Um, I think that's pretty good. Okay, so what they are doing downstairs today is marbling and we are making these darling little ornaments super cute right all done with product from spellbinders product from marabou and then some little peel offs that we had left over so let me show you a few of them because the girls they went hog wild crazy i know that they like something when they make so many samples look at how cute is this those would be darling on a on a uh, bottle of wine or a gift bag or hanging on somebody's tree and because we're marbling you can make them any color you want now these are heavy heavy metal they're heavy metal and so they're gonna they're they're gonna hold the weight and you'll be able to hang them on a tree without any problem at all. And like I said, really inexpensive. I mean really inexpensive. How cute are those? All right, so let's talk about how we made some of these. First thing I think I'm gonna do is bring over the marbling. And this is what the jars look like. It's Easy Marble from Marabou. Easy Marble from Marabou. The jars are not very big, but let me tell you, the product that's in here will go a very long way. You don't need to have multiple jars of any one color um, unless you plan on doing some kind of mass production of something. The jars will last you a really long time. I wanna say there's 26 colors and one of those colors includes something called crystal, which is here. I'll talk to you about that in just a minute. But there's gold and there's silver and there's blacks and there's blues and there's greens and there's reds and there's yellows. And relatively inexpensive. It's not a, it's not a high ticket item at all. And for the amount that you get in it, it goes a really long way. Now, when you open it up, it has kind of a dropper top. I don't know if you guys have Tabasco sauce or something like that. It kind of has that same little top where it does a, a drop at a time, not much more than a drop at a time. And so you don't go through the product very quickly. What's in here? It's like a liquid plastic is what it is. It's very much like a liquid plastic. So until you, until it hits air and water, it stays liquid. It's airtight in there. And that's one of the key things about using this product is that you do use it with water. Now, the water that I'm using is basic tap water. That's all that's in here is basic tap water. It cannot be cold and it cannot be hot. Room temperature is what you're looking for on this water. Also, you have to think about what you're gonna be dipping because you will be dipping it in the water. So you need to have, look at the two different vessel sizes I have. Dollar, well, this came from a party. <laughs> it's a leftover plastic glass that we had, you know, just like a cello glass or whatever that we had from, a, uh, from the water dispenser. And this came from the Dollar Tree. You have to think about what you're gonna be placing in here. 
because whatever you're going to be placing in here, your vessel has to be deep enough for the item that you're doing. So if I was doing a big glass vase, that wouldn't work in this vessel here. This is only about five inches tall and I could only dip as deep as this vessel. If I was doing a big glass, a big glass vase or a candlestick, I would want to have what I had last time, which was a water pitcher jug that I got also from the Dollar Tree. I spent a dollar on it. Then if you're doing something small, you don't need something as big as this, something just as simple as a as an inexpensive little, or even a free water cup out of the dispenser by the sparklets bottle uh, will work just fine. So I do have two completely different size vessels today, both with just tap water in it, nothing more than tap water. And what can you marble? Well, you can marble everything from paper to glass to plastic to metal to wood, Really, there's nothing that you can't marble because it becomes a liquid plastic. It's just absolutely beautiful. And in the very first YouTube, it does get on your hands. I will not lie. It does absolutely. In fact, I'm going to bring the paper towels a little closer to me. It does get on your hands. Does it come off your hands? Yes. You need to wash your hair and you need to do some, um, some dishes. By the time you're done washing your hair and doing some dishes, it will be off your hands. So it does come off. It's not, um, it's not toxic, so don't worry about that. The smell can be a little bit much, but you, you, you want to be in a ventilated area. I'm currently not in a ventilated area, but um, <laughs> so if I get a little giddy as we're going along, we should, <laughs> should make for an interesting YouTube, but it does, it does come off. Again, if you just, uh, Doris always says, well, it's one hair wash and one dish wash, and that takes it all off. I do have gel nails, and it does come right off your gel nails, so it's not going to ruin your manicure. I promise you that. All right, so when we started, when I did this last time, I was playing with some paper from Kaisercraft. Kaisercraft had these coloring books a while ago. They're actually uh, postcard books, and you could color in when the coloring craze was all that and then take it out and mail it to somebody. What I liked about these books is the weight of the paper. And so we had given one of these away at one point with when you purchase some of the marbling. I don't think we have very many of them left. We have them downstairs, I think, on sale for a dollar, what we have left of them. But I liked the weight of the paper because you are going to be dipping all the way into the water and all the way out. So if you use something that's too thin, it's going to warp. It is going to warp quite a bit. So we want to use a paper that's a little firm. This is, um, my guess is that it's at least 300 um, or 200 pound paper is my guess, but it's nice and heavy. And, and, and with the marbling, you can use just about any paper that makes your heart happy. So how does this work? How does it actually happen? Make the magic happen. All right, well, let's see. What colors do we like? I think that we like the yellows. So I'm gonna drop some yellow. I like the blue. So I'm gonna drop a couple blues. And you can see it's just a few drops. It doesn't take much. And I'm gonna drop an orange. Now you do need to shake them beforehand. I've been shaking mine up and some orange. Then you need to take a toothpick or old tweezers or whatever it is that you've got that's old and you need to kind of swirl it because that's what's going to make the marbling happen. Swirl, swirl, swirl. And then we're gonna take our paper we're going to hold it and I'm going to dip in, go all the way down and pull out. And there we go. That is marbling. It's pretty cool, right? Where I missed my little place right there, I can pick up just a little bit. Got some over here. It's really awesome, and this is just on paper. Now you can see that the back side has almost no marbling in it. And why is that? Well, let me clean this off. 
And the easiest way to clean it off is just to take another piece of paper and kind of go in and pull it all off. It comes right off the top of your water. Look at my water's clean again. Now I wouldn't throw this away. I would use this and do something else with it. I would die cut it, I would do something with it, but I wouldn't necessarily throw it away. I am gonna put it to the side because I might use it again to pull some more off. Okay, so let's grab another piece of paper. So the back side, the back side didn't get much on it at all because when I dipped it in, I dipped and what was on that top came up and layered itself and then when I pulled it out, it came off. So there's very little on the back side. Let's do it again. Let me pull another one out. And let's use some red and maybe a little bit of gold. Now the gold is metallic, so it has a metallic look to it. And maybe even a little bit of silver. Let's see what happens when we drop in a little bit of silver. Is that white or silver? Oh, that looks white. Oh, that looks silver. And let's drop in a little bit of silver. And swirl, swirl, swirl. Oh, can you see what's happening? It's not swirling so good. Why? Because I took a little bit too long of time with it. See, it's all gathering up and wanting to just be done. You don't have to be super fast with it. Look at it, just all gathered up and it's done. That's what happens when you stay a little bit too long, when you don't, when you're not quick enough to, to get it going, is that plastic congeals together. It helps clean your water really quickly, but I didn't have enough time to go and finish my marbling. So if that happens, it could be that your water's too cold. It could be that your water's too warm. It could be that you just waited too long. So let's try again. Let's go again. Do we want to use the, the red again? I think I'm going to put the red in last. Let's do the silver. Nope, see, this is not silver. They have the, I've got the wrong lids. Oh, well, we threw some white in there. Let's put some silver in. And let's put some gold in. And let's do some little bit of red, a couple dots. And let's swirl, swirl, swirl. Oh yeah, see it's swirl, swirl, swirl. And then let's drop. Oh, I got a little glue. In, 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 in. Out, 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 out. And we have marbled. It really is, I got a gloopy there. I wanna get my gloopy off. It really is just beautiful. Take a little paper towel, kind of mat it down. And marbling is amazing. Let's go one more time. So as this sits here, it's going to solidify. And that does make it very easy to clean the top of your water. Now you don't change your water in between every single time you dip. You just clean the top of your water off. That's it. Just clean the top of your water off. It sits on top. It doesn't float down to the bottom. It just sits on top. I'm just taking that same piece of paper and gathering it all up and just skimming the top of my water. So let's try one more time and let's do 
Let's do a really pretty, well, I gotta keep my fingers off of it so it doesn't get it all over. Let's go blue, blue, blue. Blue, blue, blue. And teal, teal, teal. And green, green, green. Few drops, that's all it takes. And swirl, swirl, swirl. And then let's grab our Grab our paper and then let's go. Dip, 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 and out. Every one of them is going to be different. Now, do I have enough time to grab that? If I'm quick, can I be quick enough? If I'm quick, I still have time to go dip 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 out 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 and i got another one you just can't stay too long at the at the party because see it's starting to solidify it's starting to congeal up and that's a super easy way to clean your water. Get the majority of it up and then skim the top of the water. So that's using paper. And using, well, I was using two or three different colors to make it happen. What if you just wanted to do something with a single color? How would you do that? Well, they have, and I'm going to fix these lids so I know my silver is my silver and my, and my white is my white. There we go. How would you do that if, how would you do just one color? Because you see when I mix them, there's just one color. You really can't swirl, swirl, swirl. It's not making any swirl, swirl, swirl. You gotta mix it with another color to make it swirl, swirl, swirl. Oh, now it's swirl, swirl, swirling. So if I wanted to do a single color, how would I go about doing that? Let's clean this up. Well, should I let it congeal, let it sit there for a minute? And then go all the way around. And then pull it all up. Look at it all just stick to the... So if you have an orange wood stick or an old pair of tweezers, it, whatever you need to use for the back of it, don't use anything good or expensive. Go grab something from the dollar store if you don't have anything and that way it just cleans it all up. So what if I wanted to use just the one color? How would I do that? Well, that's where the crystal comes in. This is the crystal color and it's really a color with no color. It allows the, the actual solid colors to have something to swirl with. So if you just wanted to use one color, you could. Let me get a piece of paper ready. So let me throw in the crystal and you're not going to see anything because it's clear. But what it has is the same properties as the easy marble that has colors. And now swirl, 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 swirl. And you can see it swirling. That crystal is in there and it's allowing it to swirl. And then let's go down and back. Ooh, right? That's what the crystal lets you do. It lets you take one color, and because it doesn't have any color but the same properties, it allows you to swirl, 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 swirl to get something so pretty. And then we can let it solidify and go back in and grab most of it out with our tweezers 
for the back of our tweezers and then go through with a piece of just any old cardstock or whatever you have just to clean off the top, just to make sure it's clean off the top. And there we go. So that's using the Easy Marble on paper. Now what if you had specialty paper? I have the um, Renea, Renea, RB, uh, it's Ren, Ren, Renea. I, I always get it wrong. I always remember when two vowels go will walk and the first one does the talking, so the E is a hard E. Renea, Renea paper. <laughs> And this is a foil paper. Now, the one that has the pattern on it is patterned both sides. But in the same pack, you will get a sheet that is a solid red with a gold on back. Can you foil this? Can you marble it? Can you marble on top of foil? You can marble on top of almost anything. So let's take, let's take the black. And let's give it a good shake, 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 shake. And let's dump some black in here. And then let's grab that crystal because I've already got a gold base. I'm starting with gold paper. I'm starting with the gold Rania paper. And you can see how the crystal, when it added it, just separated everything, which allows me to come in here and add my black and make swirl, swirl, swirl. And then I'm gonna take my gold and I'm going to go straight down and straight up. That's pretty cool, right? I don't know if I, let me be quick about it. Let me see if I can get another one in there. And see, oh, but it's not swirled. Nope, it's done. See how it's done? See how it's just sticking right to it? It's so pretty. And just dab this one off. Let me put that one over there and let's do it one more time. Let me clean my paper. Remember the top of my water. And you can see how all the black that was still left on top, you just skim the top of your water and it will all stick. Use just a yucky old piece of paper and let's put our black back in. Do we want black again? Or maybe we can do a little bit of a black and a red. I don't know. Let's try. What can it hurt? Black, black, black. Just a hair bit of red, 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 and some crystal, and swirl, 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 and then let's dip, dip, dip. What do you think? Now the water, because this is foil, that water is going to dry off. Actually, I can kind of tap it off. And then when it's all dry, look at what you have made. It's beautiful. So it's not just for white paper. If you've got a foil paper, oh my goodness gracious. It's gorgeous. The black just looks beautiful on there. Hmm. Well, let's try one more time. I've got the red. Let's just do black and on the red piece now because I did it on the gold. Let's do the other side. You can see it's just picking right up. Easy to clean. I haven't changed my water yet. I'm still using the same tub of water. I'm going to grab my little piece of paper and I'm going to find all. I'm just going to push all of those things to a side. All and all the extra color that's still laying up there is going to cling to my paper and I can start again and this time let's go let's put the crystal in first so you can see again it's clear 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 
and I'm going to throw the black, black, black in, and maybe just a little bit of silver, silver, silver. And kind of stir, stir, stir. Now, let's see what happens when we put just the red in. I have no idea how it's going to turn out. Let's go. Oh! Oh, what do we think? That looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy. <laughs> I like that. Oh my goodness gracious, between that and the black. Now what do you do with these? You make beautiful cards with them or you use them for layouts or mats or mixed media or altered art. I, I mean, they may, I have some samples over here of what we did last time. They're beautiful and there's so much to be done. And because it's easy marbling, it's not just paper that you can marble. You can marble, again, glass and wood and plastic and metal. So let's move on because we've now done paper and we've done some foiled paper. Let's move on and see what we've got for next. I think, I think I will quickly show you. No, I'll, we'll move on to the spell binders. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We'll move on to the spell binders. So, and for that, I'm going to need my smaller vessel. So I'm going to move this over to the side. Get my tweezers out from underneath there. Now I'm just going to be playing with my little smaller vessel. All right, so spellbinders. They did these bezel type things. Part of their mixed media collection and they sell for $9.99 is what they sell for. We have them for 25 cents and you get all three. Now there's got to be 20 different styles online. They start at 25 cents and I think they go up to maybe a dollar at the most and, and they're amazing. But a lot of people didn't know what to do with them. Maybe you're not a jewelry maker. Maybe you, you don't use resins and things like that. How can you take something and reuse it, reimagine it, repurpose it, especially when it's that inexpensive? Well, that's where, that's where our lovely, <laughs> beautiful, easy marble comes in because these are metal and they're heavy metal. I do mean heavy. There is some heft to these. There's some weight to these. So we can take these and dip them and change them into something that it, it, that it isn't. Maybe you don't like this color. Maybe you want to make a cute little ornament like we did, but you want to customize them. Maybe you want to make wine charms. Maybe you want to make cute little um, uh, plates for your little, little um, plates for your albums or a cup, put it on the cover of one of your albums. Uh, maybe you want to tag for a bag with somebody's monogram in there, but you're just not thrilled with the color. Well, because it's metal, there's only a few different ways that you can color it. You can alcohol ink over the top of it. You can. Uh, alcohol ink is going to often work better over things that are, aren't quite as dark. You can Copic marker it. And again, you know, it's going to be hard to change the color because uh, too much because the Copic marker you'd have to find something that has the heavy saturation and go in and color it. It's always going to kind of have that base. You could pigment it, pigment ink it, which would work absolutely and then you just have to heat set it but that pigment ink dries on top and so if you heat set it it will dry on top or you can use your easy marble which is fast and simple and quick and let's play with the Oh, let's play with the blue and let's play with the silver and let's play with the green and let's swirl, 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 swirl. and then let's grab it and dip it and down we go.
and up we go. How beautiful is that? Totally transformed. Even the back is pretty. Totally transformed the entire look. Completely changed the entire look of these bezels. And because you can change it to whatever color, I don't want to put it there, whatever color makes your heart happy. Let's clean this out. And you can see how easy it is to clean this one because the top, there's, there's very little surface space. So it's easy peasy to clean. Let's take the next size. And let's go blue, 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 blue. And blue, 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 teal. And silver. And swirl 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 and then let's dip oh my gosh they're so beautiful they're just so pretty. And if I wanted to, I could go back in and double dip. Can you double dip? Sure, if I wanted more silver, I can go in there and I can literally pick up. I can see where that swirl is in my cup. And I can put that swirl just where I want it. Oh my gosh. Get the water out. And they're beautiful. And you would never ever imagine that it started out looking like that. I wanna get that water out. Take to whatever color you want. And then, then it's up to you what to do with it. We made the cute little pendants and we made the cute little um, tree ornaments, but heavens, you can take a simple little piece of bling and somebody's monogram right in there off your computer. Print their little, their initial right there on the computer. Get it on copy paper. Wait for this to dry. Cut it out, stick it in the center. Put a little bling down below and a little, a little bow on the top. You can make them a most dark, you can magnetize these. Put some magnets on the back for the refrigerator. How cute would this be with a magnet? Get a piece of magnet from Staples cute little school picture for grandma put a little bow on the top a little bling on the bottom and now you've made you've made grandma auntie uh, uncles um <laughs> in-laws a darling little magnet for your refrigerator if they don't have to be christmas at all no 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 but when you're spending 25 cents you can afford to do this for the family and if you want to get little gloves, you can. Uh, kids can do this. This is not scary for kids at all. As long as they have supervision, you are good to go. Let's do another one. Let's open up another. Let's open up. Let's clean. Clean, clean. See, did you see how easy that is cleaning up? It just is grabbing it. Look at, ta-da! Haven't changed my water. Still using the same old water. I mean, who would think, right? Now, Doris, Doris put some little beads in here and took a piece of acetate and cut the acetate to the size of the circle and glued it to the top of the rim with some stay, uh, some stay put glue, some of my glue, because it dries clear, and she made a little shaker out of it. I mean, the ideas are endless, and for the price, it's they're just beautiful. Let's grab another little shape. Let's grab, and again, you're getting all three of them. Not $9.99, but 25 cents. When they've got to go, they've got to go. Just ask everybody who was here on Sunday for the warehouse sale. I just kept walking around. It's gotta go. It's gotta go. Do you need a basket? It's gotta go. 
Now hopefully you guys will be a little bit cleaner than I am, but maybe not. Rumor has it if you don't get inky, you didn't have enough fun. But it will come off, trust me, and it does come off your it does come off your gels. We had girls do their phone cases. We actually had girls dip their nails because you can dip your nails. All right, so let's do another one. And let's use, oh, I don't know. Um, let's use some of the, let's use some of the, just a little bit of red and a little bit of yellow maybe, I hope. And a little bit of orange maybe have no idea what this is gonna look like but for 25 cents I'm willing to try swirl 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 and dip oh, dip 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 oh I'm just there and let's pull it out Okay, mm, I probably should have gone with something. Oh, I guess it does. Well, you know, it actually looks good now that I'm looking at it. I actually like it. I thought I wasn't going to like it, but let's, you know what, I'm going to go back and I'm going to grab a little bit more red. Oh, yeah. Okay, super cute. Super pretty. Who knew? Oh, and see, the back looks good, too. Look at the back. The back looks good, too. And what if, what if I just wanted to swirl one color because I kind of like the color of the metal? What if I just wanted to swirl a color? Let's grab a paper towel. And let's see about swirling a color. And I think I'm gonna grab, I guess I'll use this next one down. Let's swirl a color. So I'm gonna swirl the black. Black, black, black. My crystal, which is clear, which lets me make it a swirly. And I'm going to swirl that together. Ooh, okay then. And I'm going to dip, dip, dip. Oh, that's pretty too. That looks really good too. That looks awesome. Love, love, love that. Get my water out. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And it completely transforms what was in there. What it started at. I kept some of the metal, because maybe you like the metal. Gosh, we can do something else. What else should I throw in there? I've still got a little bit more time. See if I can put a piece of paper in there super fast. There's one side. Ooh, no, I drew well. I came close. But you can see what I mean by only being able to go as deep as your vessel. My paper is too tall to dip all the way in there. So I wanted to pick up the excess and do something with it. And I probably would save this because I still can do something with this. I can cut it, I can mat it, I can die cut it, I can do whatever I want with it. But my original vessel was not deep enough for it to get all the way in. Oh yeah, look at how, oh my gosh. Okay, let's get some of the water off. Look at how pretty they are. And you would never ever know what they started out as. 
that's reimagining something. That's taking something and, and putting your own special twist on it. That's making it amazing. And then how did we fill them up? What did we fill them up with? Well, we just grabbed some peel-offs, some peel-off stickers that we had. You may have peel-off stickers sitting around your house too, but we just grabbed some peel-off stickers that we had that would fit in the centers. So we put a little peel-off stocking in there and we took it and we attached the bottom with a jump ring and added a little a little um, bling with a very small little uh, snowflake that came on the peel-offs. We just grabbed our old peel-offs, whatever we had, oh, the stocking, there's the stocking, and put it in there so that we're using up what we already have. But what else? Oh, I'm gonna get in trouble. I got the, the, <laughs> the ribbon <laughs> dirty. Shh. <laughs> Shh. All right, so what else can we do with it? Well, besides the spellbinder stuff, which you could, you could take them and actually link them all together and make a beautiful bracelet out of it. You could take each of these and dip, dip, dip for somebody. Or these could be your little charms for your gift bags. And you can just put a put a beautiful little bling in there, but you can dip, dip, dip. Look at this color. Oh, I don't think I, well, we'll see. I didn't shake it up first. Swirl, swirl, swirl. No, we're fine. Swirl, swirl, swirl. Oh, look at how pretty that is. <laughs> and dip, dip, dip. Get the water out. And there's one. And dip, dip, dip. Let's see if I can do another one. And out it comes. This time I'm going to turn it upside down so I can get that water out. And another one. And they're all going to be a little different because you're pulling up that swirl differently. And as I'm using it, I'm losing some of that um, uh, some of that marbling because I'm pulling it every time I'm pulling it I'm pulling a little bit more so this last one's gonna have very little silver because there's very little silver left and I'm kind of taking it all over to pick up as much of that silver as I can and turn it upside down And they're done. Give them a second to dry, put a little bling in there for them, attach them with a jump ring, and you're good to go. Let me see if I've got a better piece of paper to put them on besides my hands. So turn them upside down so they can dry. Get all that excess water out. But what a cute and easy gift for somebody. Run to Walmart or the Piggly Wiggly because everybody told me Piggly Wigglies do still exist. I don't know if they sell jump rings because I've never been to a Piggly Wiggly. But my goodness, you could create just a beautiful, simple, lovely bracelet for somebody. Easy peasy. And the whole set was, like I said, it was 25 cents for all five of them. Buy two for 50 cents to make sure you've got enough to go all the way around and you're good to go. So pretty, so easy. Ooh. And look at, it's looking, 
Looks good, right? <laughs> it looks really, 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 really good. <laughs> I'm really happy with how it came out on the foil. Love it on the foil. So now we've used the Spellbinders, their little bezel-y type mixed media product that um, maybe you're not into mixed media, but this isn't mixed media. You can do this with just anything you can do the marbling on, and then you can make these into the most darling little ornaments or keychains or magnets or let your imagination come alive. Let it figure out what to do with it. Let it talk to you, even if you have to sit there and let it talk to you and say, what is it that I, what I want to be? You can marble and marble and marble and just let them wait. Just put them away until it, until you come to it. And, and I do think the magnets though would be darling for, for holiday or birthday or a mother's day or grandparents day. I think those, or teacher day. I think that those would be simply lovely to do and very inexpensive. But what else can you marble? Well, like I said, just about anything. I have some bling, some leftover bling. And what if I wanted my bling to match whatever I'm marbling? All I have to do is throw my color in, throw my color in, blend, 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 swirl, 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 swirl. And I can dip my bling in. And now I have marbled my bling, so my bling has multicolors on it. That's very cool and easy to do. And what if I wanted to dip again? What if I wanted more blue? All right, dip again. You can double dip. This is not, this is not, um, <laughs> <laughs> Onion dip and chip. I'll allow you to double dip. And let's go in on this side. So you can color your, your bling to any color that you want. And what's cool is that you get that marbling effect. You get that dual tone or tri-tone to it as opposed to just straight blue or just straight yellow or just straight green. And by having clear bling, you can do just as much as you want. Literally two drops of each color would have done it. I didn't need to have this much. No. And when it's all dry, they're good to go and they stay that way. You can go use them at any time. You don't have to use them all at the same time. The nice thing is, is that you're only using, you're only coloring as much bling as you really want to. You don't, you're not going and buying a whole pack of blue or a whole pack of yellow. And because you get that color intermingled, that's really, really, really nice. Okay, so let me move that over there. What else can you marble? Well, I went through and saw what else that we had handy. And what else do you have? You might have simple embellishments that you didn't even think about marbling. If you've got things that are white, or gold or silver. Cute little white resin flowers, right? But maybe you don't want them to be white anymore. Maybe you want them to have a touch of red and a little bit of yellow. Some red. Some yellow. I'm gonna swirl, swirl, swirl. I'm gonna pull one off. Hopefully I can, well, let's try and hold it with this one. Hold, hold, hold. And let's just dip one way. And then dip another way. I want it to look pretty and my hands are not pretty. <laughs> How cute is that? I changed it to a red and yellow flower as quick as I dipped it. And I could do all of them in there. There's plenty of time and these are small enough that I could go in there and I could do all of them. Hard to do that with a Copic marker. It is, it's hard. Maybe I take it from the top and the bottom like that. Hard to get in there and get that, that dual look with a marker. But because these are non-porous, it just picks up that marbling so easy peasy.
and I could just make them whatever color I need. Do you have a wedding coming up? Do you have a baby shower coming up? Do you have an anniversary coming up where you need to make cute little flowers and you need to have them in just the right color? Well, this is a way to do that, to do it in just the right color so that it matches what your, what your color scheme is. Or do you have a friend who has a favorite color? This is a great way of doing that too. I promise you will not get as messy. Well, you may get as messy as me, but I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna wash my hair twice. <laughs> I'm gonna wash my hair twice and then it will all be gone. <laughs> but it's so easy from, from doing the, the bling and making your own colored, multicolored bling which they charge big bucks for out there. And because it's still on the acetate sheet, you didn't lose the sticky element. No, that that's still underneath. You can still, it still has the sticky element underneath so that you can pop them up and put them down. That's not a problem at all. You didn't lose that with when you put it in the water because that's being, it's, it's being covered up by the actual rhinestone, the sticky part. So you'll be able to pop them off and stick them on down. We did the Spellbinders bezels which is what we're featuring in the downstairs make and take and as part of the Spells Binders warehouse sale. We did just basic, plain, pretty easy paper. We did the paper, we did it with and without. So here we did a whole bunch of marbling. Here we use the crystal color to give us just one color of marbling. And we use the crystal color on this one, which is the backside of some Rania paper. It's the gold. We use the crystal and the black to make this one. But then we grab the red and we use the crystal and the, actually that's silver, not even white, and the black to go on top of the red. And in an earlier YouTube, I did, I did a cute little dollar store at sign. I went to the dollar store and went crazy because everything you see at the dollar store pretty much can be marbled. They had four little jars at the dollar store. They came in a little, maybe it was three, three or four little jars for a dollar. They came in a little pack. Look at how cute are these? Wait, wait, wait. I did, now I didn't do the whole thing. I could have, well maybe I can. So I did the, the top, this is one of those just inexpensive mache boxes. Look at how beautiful that is. But again, you need something to be plenty deep. Let's see if I can do the bottom of this mache box really quick. Plenty deep. So what colors do we want? Well, I used gold in that one, so let's throw some gold in there. Let's throw some gold. Oh, shake it up better. There we go. There we go, better shaking up. Okay, so I used some gold and I used some blue. And it looks like I used a little bit of red, but I don't know if I used this red. And let's swirl, swirl, swirl. Swirl, swirl, swirl. Look at that swirl, swirl, swirl. That's what makes the magic happen. And then let's take the mache box. And let's, I wanna get some of that swirl, swirl, swirl off to the sides. And let's dip, dip, dip. <laughs> oh my gosh how beautiful is that these are one of those inexpensive mache boxes that I think um, Michael's has or a Hobby Lobby has even your local craft store may have some of these look at how cute that is and then you do the lid and you put the lid on and you let it all dry 
And I want to say that these are, these are what, about a buck each? And sometimes they come in the three pack. And if you've got a 40% off coupon, we don't do coupons here at Scrapbooking Made Simple. When you're selling something for 25 cents, there's no place to add a coupon. But what a cute little gift. Put some little tissue in there when it's all dry and maybe some little candies. Um, and they have these mache boxes in all sorts of shapes and sizes. And you just dip, 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 and it's good to go. It just has to sit and dry and it's done. So easy. Now let's see if I can grab some of this. But I think the thing the girls most liked was making those little ornaments. Now I cleaned it off and knowing me, I would keep this and do something with it. I would cut it up, I would die cut it, I would find something to do with this just because it's they're too pretty to throw away. And you really can sit there and marble and marble and marble and marble. So you've seen the mache box and you've seen some glass and you've seen paper and you've seen the amazing little bezels or whatever they want, mixed media stuff from Spellbinders, which Honestly, on their own, meh. I mean, even for 25 cents, meh. But when you reimagine them, so much better. And I, again, I wanna say that there's probably 20 different ones. Look at how cute. These are the ones they've been using. I think this is what um, Doris made a shaker card. You get five of them. This one is the one I was using. You get three. Think about what more you can do because there is so much more. Here, look at this. With that paper, these are the cards we made. That's, that's this paper that I did. And then we die cut to make the card. Why not? Look at how cute. I bet I have it the wrong way. No, I have it the right way. Look at how cute. That marbling just adds a little something. And it's so different and so unique. People will be like, oh, how did you do that? Well, you don't need to tell them how you did that. You just have to tell them, isn't it wonderful? <laughs> okay, now I'm going to try not to get these dirty. The girls went a little crazy with the samples. They've put them on to, um, you, could, you could actually give them this way as an ornament, but they've taped them down versus leaving them hanging like this for me just so I can show them to you easier. So you have your choice. You can either keep them free or you can put them onto a mat and give them as a, as a card. And, oh, okay. So here's your card and you write your sentiment on the back and then you put your magnet behind there and you tell them when they're all done with the card, they pop this off and then they have a magnet or an ornament for their tree. Gift all in one, card and gift in one. You can't ask for better than that. Especially when, when you're in a rush. Look at the little hat pin. Isn't that so cute? The girls just made, oh, this is Doris's shaker. The little one down here is a little shaker. And they've used all the different sizes. Okay, I'm gonna tell you, they were very pleased with themselves. Very, very pleased with the black and the pink and the white, and then the little tiny flamingo sticker on the inside. They thought, Doris and Claire thought that they were all that and a bag of chips when they were done. All I heard from, from my little desk, because we're all in the same room, is hee 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 hee. <laughs> you gotta see it, you gotta see it. <laughs> they were so cute and so pleased as punch. And look at, look at how beautiful is this. This is just die cut paper or fussy cut paper. All done with the marbling and spell binders. These are all the spell binders bezels, the media mixage bezels that we have starting at 25 cents. Do you have peel offs or stickers to stick in the middle? Do you have a little picture to stick in the middle?
This one too, everybody loved this one. She fussy cut out the little cup of coffee. Wouldn't that make the cutest magnet or the cutest ornament? And it doesn't have to be Christmas. No, ornaments are for all year round. Look at how pretty. Again, peel offs. Oh, I have oodles of these to show you. I don't know that I'll go that well. But they're all different. And the girls worked so hard on them and they had so much fun with them. Again, fussy cut out of a piece of paper. I love the dangling. Walmart, Kmart, if there's any Kmarts left, um, uh, Hobby Lobby, Joann's, any place you can get little jump rings. Look at the little flower on the bottom. Love the hat pin. see what else we oh look at this one with the Christmas tree in the middle so cute let's see what I'll say oh with the leaves in the middle of the tree I don't know it's hard I like them all how beautiful is that right Or maybe you like the bird better. You definitely have options with these. There's no question about it. You've definitely got lots and lots and lots of options. All right, and then let's just see real quick if there's any over here that I didn't show. Oh, just the, no, I think I showed this one. One of the make and takes. All right, so I'm going to tilt on up and I'm going to scroll on back. Hello, everybody. Hi. <laughs> okay, that's better. Oh, phew, that was a lot of me. <laughs> and I'm going to say, okay, so the Marabou Easy Marble is going to be on a YouTube Yummy. The Spellbinders bezels are already part of the warehouse sale so you'll find them in the warehouse spell mentors warehouse sale category from the 25 cents to i think a dollar 99 category and you'll find them in the youtube yummies when those bezels are gone they are gone there's no more i am sorry we have quite a few of them not like 20 or 30 or 40 we've got like a couple hundred of each of them but at 25 cents take advantage of them you can you can use them all year round they make such beautiful gifts and i think that the 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 magnet or the the little ornament or for your craft bag is such a nice and thoughtful and easy way to add a little something of you that keeps giving throughout the year i think that's just a nice little way all right you're going to find all of this stuff at scrapbookingmadesimple.com scrapbookingmadesimple.com you may be able to find the bezels some at a couple other places i don't think you'll see them anywhere near 25 cents i'm pretty positive you won't and then the marabou marbling again i think there's about 26 colors it i would definitely if you can only get two or three colors i would definitely get the crystal as part of that because that crystal allows you to do the red by itself or the blue by itself or you can do the red and the blue with no crystal or you can do the red and the blue with the crystal it just gives you more options so i would definitely add the crystal if you're trying to you know stay under ten dollars or you know twelve dollars if that's if that's your crafty budget you can get some of this you can you could get four packs of the bezels and probably three of the of the um, marabou marbling and play for a, I wanted for about ten dollars somewhere close to there yeah about ten dollars well they're shipping 
the shipping, but at least you know the product is is really really affordable. So it's me, Stacy, scrapbooking made simple, and I will see you next week because we are now back on our regular regular schedule every week. And the Spellbinders Warehouse sale ends on the 21st. I believe it's the 21st or the 23rd. No, 21st. It ends on the Friday, this coming Friday. Not, not, so today is Saturday. So the next Friday it ends. And so get your Spellbinders orders in and enjoy that product at 90% or more off. You know, you've got $20 items for $3.99. You've got, you've got, $10 items for 25 cents. Use your crafting budget as wisely as possible and what you what you can get at your local retailer. If your local retail store already carries the Marabou Easy, uh, Easy Marble, get it from them and get the bezels from me. Absolutely. If your local craft store has ribbons, get the ribbons from them. Get the bezels from me. Get the things, shop with us for the things you can't get at your local independent mom and pop craft store. And if you don't have one of those anymore, I am very sorry. I really am. I know how hard that is for all of you to not have a place to go and see and feel and touch and walk in where everybody knows your name and there's there's things on the walls to inspire you and, and the craftiness and the new product and you get to actually hold it, I know that that's hard. So for those of you, we appreciate you shopping with us. Thank you very much. All right, you guys, I will see you next week. It's me, Stacy, Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com.